Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. Another dev server video, we're going to take a look on the shop how the new AA system added for the US and the Israelis especially. So let's just hop in into the Israelis, I don't want to show the American one, but just for you to know, uh, the, Amer the main difference between the American one and the Israeli ones is the addition of another missile. So the Israelis have a missile that it's a little bit better than these two that they use over here. It's funny that the Chinese didn't get one uh, because they actually the, the Taiwan actually uses uh, one of these. So uh, hopefully it's added as well. But yeah, you can see that the BR is completely different for the Israeli one. It's 10.3 instead of um, uh, 9.3. 9 Let me just check. Yeah, 9.3 of the American one. So yeah, um, you do have... Oh, I clicked the wrong thing over here. Uh, you do have these three missiles. You have the uh, MIM-72A, the C, and then the G. So apparently this is the original missile. Uh, the A is the original, like A9D or something like that. Then this had a better uh, seeker, a better guidance section, everything like that. And this actually had a seeker uh, from the Stinger missile. So it should be a lot better against countermeasures. So let's just test every single missile and yeah, it's a very, very interesting thing because as you see over here, it is the top AA system of the Israelis. Uh, is it as good as a Panzer? No, it's it's not. It's not even close, but it is something at least. So let's, let's see if we can try to use all the missiles. That will be interesting to see if we can, if we can actually do that. So as you see, uh, it is basically just a tractor with four and five guys in, on top of it. And then it has the uh, aim launcher. As you see... It's guiding pretty well. And it's a missile, a normal missile. Not all aspect as you see. At least the first one. Let's see if we can actually fire from up close like this. Once I get a lock. I don't think it's going to hit. Yeah, it doesn't have the capabilities of doing something like that, right? So, um, I think I, I need to just fire all the missiles. Yeah, now it's actually reloading. Look at the size of that Seeker. The, seek the new Seeker is a lot larger the FOV of it so this is probably like an M9G or something like that uh, where is it and it has a lot of burn time I, w I would say so yeah look at that burn time so it should have a pretty good range of course it is a very I mean you are launching it from um, standing position over here from the ground so the missile is like stationary and also from the most amount of drag that he has for it to be launched so it's you know it's it's difficult for the missile to actually be launched but still let's reload it with the one with the uh, stinger seeker just to test it out while we do that the mobility is pretty bad but I mean it's an AA system it doesn't need to be very good and as you see the missile is still the same model I don't know if it's going to be changed but in real life apparently it has the seeker from the um, from the uh, stinger so let's see yeah it's much more um, you know um, all aspect you know it feels like it is much more uh, all aspect yeah, look at that. It's it's all aspect, man. It turns basically the same, but the IRCCM should be better. You know, it should be ignoring a little bit of flares. And I think this is going to be a very good AA system, actually. Let's see. Yeah, look at this. It's pretty, pretty much all aspect, man. But it takes a little bit of time to start turning. So uh, have that in mind that it's more of a... It's not a medium range by any way, uh, by any means, you know, medium range missile but it is complicated to use from a very close aspect you know it's it's not very good at that oh now it's the first one so yeah it is 
you know, it's not the greatest thing ever uh, for, for up close shots, but for very long distance, it is pretty good. Yeah, e and the second one already has a pretty good all aspect capability as well. It's not as good as the other ones, but... And you can always... Oh, oh he didn't. <laughs> I thought it was going to hit. But yeah, uh, for very, very up close shots, it is not very good. But for kind of when the target is like at one kilometer or so, more a little bit, it is pretty good. Uh, this is a very good AA system. It's like the Strela. We need to test the IRCCM of it, uh, maybe in another video, but uh, because right now it's very early in the morning and nobody <laughs> is online to actually help me. But it is still very, very cool to see this, guys. Very, very interesting. I'm excited about this AA system. I probably will research the Israelis um, tanks soon. So having something like this is pretty, pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't have any all aspect capability for the um, for the first missile. Let's see when we can actually shoot. Come on. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to track. So it is pretty good, man. Pretty good. It's a very good AA system, I think. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. And this is the Shopahal, finally added to War Thunder. Very cool, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. And bye. See you.